So you make an all-star team your fourth year in, all-star every year from 2001 to 2012. Um, and we all remember the 2006 NBA Finals. You're up two games and nothing. You're up 12 with eight and a half minutes to go. Blow the lead. You lose four straight. What was that moment like for you as a player, knowing what, what you weren't able to accomplish? You know, 06, uh, I was super frustrated after Miami came back on us. But you know what? I felt like I was just getting into my prime. Uh, I felt like I was playing some of my best basketball. I'm thinking, we're going to be there every year now. You know, we got this. We're a good team. I can carry the team there. And I wasn't actually that frustrated after 06. Of course, it was super tough. Uh, but I felt good about where we were as a franchise and where I was at playing at my highest level. So I kind of brushed it off like, okay, well, we'll be back. Well, we'll make this again. And then we followed this up with an unbelievable season, 06 or 07, which was my MVP year. Uh, we won 67 games. We're the number one seed, uh, getting ready to roll. Um, uh, we had the Spurs number that year. I think we beat them three out of four, which was our biggest rival. We felt good about that uh, matchup. So I'm thinking in my head, this is our year. This is this is our year. This is when we're going to win it all. And we run into this bus of a, of a hot uh, Warriors team uh, who had Coach Nelson, who was our coach there, and he knew exactly all of our weaknesses and my weaknesses, and and he exploited all of them. Uh, and so we ended up losing to the Warriors in the first round. We were the first one seed at the time to lose in a seven game series, and. I got to say that year, I was more disappointed uh, than, and then losing the finals in 06 because uh, I had such high hopes. We were the team to beat. I got to say, I didn't leave my house for about, about two weeks. I felt I let my team down. I felt like I let the city down, the franchise. And this was, that was probably as frustrated as I was in my career and, and disappointed and just, just, a, just a gut punch. And that took me a while to get over. The 06, like I said, I was okay in my head. I'm like, oh, we're, we'll be here every year now. But the 07 year really took uh, took my heart, ripped my heart out there for a while. And, and that took me a while to to, to recover. And, and I wanted to leave town as soon as possible, get away as far as possible in the NBA calls. He's like, you got to stick around. There's actually a chance you get in the MVP. And I'm like, I don't even want it. You know, just keep this thing. And I'm so embarrassed. I'm like... So then uh, I had to stick around for like 10 days, two weeks in Dallas to wait. Because as you know, back in the days, they presented um, the, 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 the MVP trophy during the second round, the middle of the second round. So I had to wait. I had to wait in Dallas and, and not leave my house and just be frustrated every day. And then I got the MVP. And I remember doing that press conference. I was dreading. And then I was able to leave the, leave the country after that. But, uh, man, that was, uh, that was a super, super tough summer. And I took that one harder than I did the 06 finals loss. That's what made 11 so much better. I mean, it's, it's one thing to win a championship, but to go through those things. Because I remember it, you know, well, and I was on the air with it. Because you were different, you were soft. Because you didn't win, it was only because you were soft. And then mm. that stuff just bothers me because it's so dismissive. Um, and I knew yeah. you weren't soft. You know, like I knew... <laughs> You, you were battling it. with guys all the time, and then it was like, oh, now he's not soft anymore. You know, and it's yeah. all bullshit. It's all playing <laughs> the results. Look, some guys are soft and some guys aren't. I, I never thought that of you, but because you're, you know, a tall white Euro, it's like, oh, well, the, he must be soft because those are the rules. And you beat a Heat team that's the favorite, that is arguably, you know, one of the best groupings that we've ever seen in the prime. How were you able to beat them? How, what was it about you beating this team that everybody felt like they were picking? Well, I, I think we were a little fortunate, and uh, I, I got to say that that was their first year that they were together. I think if you remember, you know, LeBron and Wade and Bosch, they were still trying to figure out how how they play with each other, who's taking the, the big shots, uh, how are they defining their roles. And so I think there were still some question marks in their own minds how this is all going to work. And so... I think we snuck in there at the right time. You know, obviously they were way more talented than us. I think we had a group that had great chemistry. Uh, we knew our roles. We knew who was the defender, our defenders were. We knew where we were going when we needed a big bucket. So uh, we were just a really tight unit at the time and we had a great group and we were just skilled enough, honestly, to, 
to overcome their their skill level and just battling together, uh, battling together and getting some key stops when we needed to, and uh, and, uh, and and we're able to grind it out. But uh, yeah, we like I said, we were we were fortunate. If we would have run into them in year two or maybe year three of them together, I, I think it would have been a different outcome. But you know, fortunate for us, we we didn't have to worry about that, and we saw them. Uh, in year one when they just came together and uh, that was uh, it was our time so uh, just you know making them work uh, making LeBron and do way make try to make things tough on them and uh, and 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 on the on the on the offensive and move the ball they were so athletic they closed out to our shooter so fast that I think the first two games we were kind of overwhelmed we were like in in, in, the, in the in the first couple of rounds we had all these good looks and open shots and things were going well. And then all of a sudden, these guys were so athletic on the perimeter. I mean, we our shooters couldn't even get really in the game. So uh, it was uh, it was tough. But we, we figured out some ways where we could get our shots. And, and uh, we, we were able to beat them, which was obviously made 06 and 07 kind of worth it. You know, for me to, to go through the lowest of the low and, and fight through those times and keep working hard. And I, that motivated me to push harder. And then to finally, you know, get to the top that made it even sweeter. And, and all these disappointments I used to, as fuel and, and, and work hard to get better. So uh, that made 11, of course, that much sweeter. Just two quick things as we finish up. Did you feel that because it took a long time for the NBA to accept you and then, you know, just all the shit you took because of 06 and then 07, because you're right, the Warriors thing was brutal for you, and then you get a wait around, and then everybody wants to, after you win 67 games, like, oh, this guy shouldn't even be the MVP, and you're like, all right, well, that's that's ridiculous. But then everybody felt like they liked you. You know, winning winning can cure a lot of things, but did you feel then like, hey, I've been an all-star now for a decade, and now I have my ring, that, did you feel it? Did you feel like all of a sudden now everybody loved Dirk, and that even other superstars appreciated and you respected you more as a contemporary than prior to those years? I, I did feel a little more respect, uh, even from when I when I came to the, the All Star game the next year. Uh, even the media, I don't know. It was it was a different uh, different respect level. I think it gave me a lot of confidence too. Uh, walking around uh, my peers, uh, I think it took a lot of weight off my shoulders because I was always I always disappointed every year, and maybe I maybe I'm not good enough to 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 get us over the top. And then when you get there, though, it's like this sense of, of pride, this sense of satisfaction, you know, now what, now, what can you say? Uh, I think I've had some of that. And if, I got to say, it felt good. It felt good the next couple of years to go to the all-star games and, and, you know, and, 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 you know, there's not much you can say about me now. I, I did deliver. So I got to say that that was a, a very a proud moment uh, for myself, of course. 